frog visited the whole jungle with blackbuck. Waterfalls, meadows and many ponds with many frogs. Soon the whole jungle had known about their friendship and so were the other blackbucks. One day when they were jaunting near a beautiful lake, the bucks family came there. You told us that he's not your friend. Asked Buck's father. I lied. Buck immediately replied. You've forgotten black bucks don't make friends with other inhabitants. This is a crime, you fool. An old big black buck shouted at him. No, this is not a crime. Making good friends shouldn't be a crime. Buck replied while watching the frog. You can find good friends in black bucks. We don't need frogs for it. One buck's contemporary black buck informed him. Yes, we can. And in the same way we can also find good friends in other creatures. It should be normal. Please understand it. Buck spoke with emphasis. We have no time for this nonsense. Leave this ugly little thing and his friendship and come with us. You need to learn more before to roam in the jungle. Buck's father said angrily. I cannot leave him. I have told you, we are friends. Buck told his father, so you have chosen him over us. Now you can't leave with us. We left you. Stay with him. Forever. Buck's father ordered and all black bucks left the place. He stood in shocked silence after hearing the news until Frog broke the silence. Don't worry. Everything will be okay. They will accept our friendship. Frog consoled him and both left the place for the frog's home. Black Buck had been living with frogs since many days. Frogs could go underwater but he couldn't. Frogs ate insects that they catch with their long sticky tongue but he had not that kind of tongue and also did not like the taste. At last he began to feel strange there but didn't know how to tell his friend. He wanted to go back to his home.